The Androscoggin River Valley. The people, the places, the events, the history. All that makes up the vibrant story of the towns of the Androscoggin River Valley from Lewiston, Auburn through Mexico, Rumford, and Bethel to New Hampshire. Welcome to the October 2017 edition of Today River Valley. Today River Valley is the video news feature program for the towns of the Androscoggin Valley in western Maine. My name is Phil Blampede. I'm the host and producer of the program. Well, October is a great time to rent a scary movie to watch. This year you can watch a horror movie that was made right here in this area. We're going to meet the Rumford man who brought the cast and crew of the movie Among Us to town by finding great locations for the scenes in the movie, including his own house. Then we're going to look at what could be an important step in bringing better public transportation to western Maine. A new bus line connects Auburn to Portland six times a day, but the question is, can it attract riders? We'll look at that question and more in just a minute after a few messages from local businesses. Today River Valley is sponsored by the Sudbury Inn, lodging, fine dining, and a lively pub right on Main Street in Bethel, Maine. Make the Sudbury Inn your headquarters for your next trip to Bethel. Centrally located downtown, this charming 19th century inn is right in the middle of shopping, skiing, fine dining, and all other Bethel attractions. Accommodations range from a full apartment with its own fireplace to deluxe two-room suites to single rooms. And you don't have to go far to find the best of Bethel, from fine dining in the main dining room to pub fare and live music in the popular Suds Pub to a bistro menu and bar in Bistro 151, featuring light fare with a creative flair, lobster ravioli with shrimp cream sauce, sweet pea and caramelized onion ravioli with a blue cheese sauce, blackened sea bass with a cucumber salsa, citrus glazed veal short ribs with an Asian sauce. The Sudbury Inn is family friendly, can accommodate pets, and as the magazine Bon Appetit put it, is the perfect way to end a day in Bethel. Call today for more information. When's the last time you really had fun? If you've been to Stars and Strikes Bowling Center on Route 26 in South Paris, that was probably it. If you haven't been yet, you've got a treat coming. Stars and Strikes is the Candlepin Bowling Center of Western Maine, located just north of town on Route 26, with a full bar, a complete kitchen with everything from pizzas to burgers to chicken tenders, and a video game arcade for kids. Let us host your next party, whether it's a birthday or another special occasion, with two hours of bowling for up to 12 people including pizza, soda, and even balloons for everybody. Open seven days a week, 108 Park Street, South Paris, Maine. Check our Facebook page for specific hours. Excuse me, sir, are you getting a little shaggy around the ears but can't find time for a haircut? Well, now you can. At Lisa's Barbershop at 178 Main Street in Mexico, owner Lisa Shardlow specializes in quick haircuts. No appointment is necessary and there's rarely a wait. At Lisa's, the motto is cut and go. Fall is in the air and Halloween isn't too far away. I get all kinds of customers this time of year, but even if you look like the Wolfman himself, let's just say I have the experience to give you a great cut. Come on by. Open Tuesday through Friday, 9 to 5, Saturday, 9 to noon. Hi, I'm Roger Whitehouse, owner and designated broker of Riverside Realty here at Mexico, Maine. October means Halloween and all kinds of spooky and scary things. But one thing you never have to be scared about is buying or selling a house. Because at Riverside Realty, we had the experience and the knowledge to get you through the process smoothly and easily so you don't get spooked by all the details. Let's look at some properties you could spirit away this month. This is MLS 1310900, a 1957 ranch in Rumford with five rooms, three bedrooms, one bath. It was totally renovated in 2005 with new roof shingles in 2016. It's in a desirable location, close to schools, a town park, and just minutes from Black Mountain of Maine ski area, listed at $118,999. This is MLS 129-8309, a 1956 room ranch on a quarter acre in a residential neighborhood in Rumford. It's been totally and tastefully renovated. It has two bedrooms, one full bath, two half baths, a family room with cathedral ceilings, skylights, a hot tub, an attached one-car garage, and much more. It's conveniently located, listed at $89,999. Whether you're considering buying or selling real estate, Call Riverside Realty at 
0100. The news is spreading fast about the superb Thai, Asian, and American cooking at the Lure Restaurant in Rumford, Maine, right off Route 2 by the shopping center with Martins. Located in the former Tina's Restaurant, the Lure features skillfully prepared Thai and Asian specialties, plus seafood and some great American dishes as well, such as all-American fried clams. Owners Ned and Didi serve up generous portions with the freshest ingredients, and now the outside deck is open for dining. Have a meal in the sun with an on-tap glass of Pinot Grigio or Pinot Noir. Plenty of parking, open for lunch or dinner Tuesday through Sunday. Come to the Lure, one bite and you'll be hooked. Mark your calendar. The Lure is planning a special Halloween costume event Saturday night, October 28th. Call or stop by for more details. Hi, this is Glenn Gordon at Good Karma Cafe and Health Foods at 72 Congress Street in Rumford, Maine. And you're watching Today River Valley, the video news feature program of towns in the Androscoggin Valley in Western Maine. Halloween season is coming up and it's a good time to watch a horror movie. This year, there's one available that's not only spooky, but was filmed entirely in Western Maine with scenes in Rumford, Aquasic, and Andover. The movie is called Among Us, a nationally distributed independent film that's been moving up the charts across the country. It was filmed right here, thanks to a local father and son. The son, Mark DeConzo, grew up in Portland and stars in the film. He asked his father, Frank DeConzo, a Rumford resident, if he had any good ideas for locations for the film, and he asked the right guy. Frank DeConzo, a retired postal service worker and town official who knows just about everybody in the area, wound up finding locations for every scene in the film, found a number of people to play bit parts, and even wound up taking a cameo role himself. The movie is about a couple whose young son dies because they are being haunted and harassed by demon spirits. As the movie starts, they have fled to a remote house by the lake, Rangeley Lake in fact, to try to escape. Let's just say it doesn't work out that well. These things happen to us and follow us from home to home. ghost hunting show we're here because we have a problem i hate to break it to you but we all have problems you're an expert in the paranormal we have the footsteps but there's no one there lights flickering on and off by themselves no matter where we go no matter what we do it follows us everywhere will you help us so mark called me he says dad we're making a film and you think you uh could come on board and help us set up uh shooting sites and get us uh, some uh, children to play and find some uh, people f to be in, be in the movie. And I said, mm, yeah, I guess I can do that. You know, I know a lot of people around town. And that's when it all started. So Mark came up for a week and I showed him around to different sites that would fit the scenes that Gary had written. And, um, then Gary came up and we showed him the sites that we picked out and they all fit. One of the locations chosen was Frank DeConzo's own house. The scene from the movie Among Us started when they were coming up High Street and coming down this little uh, hillside to come to 392 High Street. And when they got up into the house onto the front door, they went up over the stairs and started knocking. I'm still not answering. They saw warm toast and coffee on the table, which became very eerie to them. So they started searching around in the, uh, in the house and calling their names.
As for what happens next, we'll let you watch the movie and find out for yourself, but let's just say it may give you second thoughts about climbing into bed that night. You know, it's amazing how they make these films, and they go over the shoot, and if there's one little twitch wrong or whatever that didn't fit the scene, you'd have to reshoot it and reshoot it and reshoot it. At one shooting site in Holyoke, we had a fellow mowing his lawn, right? And I says, hey, you think you could, you know, just for about two hours, stop mowing the lawn? <laughs> because it was cutting, the background noise was drowning out. And he says, well, what's going on? He says, well, they're shooting a movie on your street, <laughs> you know? Frank DeConzo also found extras for the film, including Trent Holman, a Rumford resident and elementary school student who played the haunted son of the ill-fated Coopers. I got a call one day because Frank DeConzo, um, his son was Mark DeConzo, and he was one of the star actors, and he called me and asked me because they needed a boy my age, and they knew I was into acting, so they just asked me. And I just said, yes, I really wanted to be in a movie, so. Of course, since the movie production took place over three years ago, Trent looks a lot older now than he did in the movie. Yeah, I had a lot of face paint on my face. It took, like, a long time for it to go on. Um, a really fun thing about the movie was um, I found out how they make blood in, in movies. It's just chocolate, but it's dyed with red food coloring. So when I had the hot chocolate, we had red hot chocolate. At first, I didn't know if I was going to watch it because I'm not really into horror movies, but I sucked it up and just watched it. <laughs> I was a little scared uh, at first, but I just realized it was fake because I got to see how they did the whole thing. It was interesting and to see what goes into making a film. And I'm saying, boy, if, if I was young again, I'd be following right my foot, my son's footsteps. Uh, he loves it. I mean, it's, it's a hard business, but, you know, they, their love for making films uh, it was very, very obvious. If you want to watch Among Us, it's available online at Amazon or iTunes and various other video on demand services. You can find them by searching the internet for Among Us. Or, if you know Frank, you can ask him. He's got a copy. Oh, yeah, yeah. People have come up and said, Hey, Frank, can I have your autograph? I don't know if they're, you know, that got some people around rough and they're so friendly and they you know, it's, uh, I said, Sure, you got a piece of paper, you know. Today we are meeting Ron Terrio, the owner of Summit Insurance and Financial Services here in Rumford, Maine. Hi, my name is Ron Terrio. May I ask you, is your retirement money working for you? Do you have the proper amount of life insurance? Have you planned your estate for the safety of your family? These are just a few of the financial planning topics we can discuss. I've been providing award-winning service for over 30 years to the people of Maine. I do not charge fees, so it will cost you nothing to meet with me. Please call me today. Colthards on the River Road in Mexico, Maine wants to remind you that gift giving season isn't too far away and it's never too early to plan for a really special gift such as a spa or a sauna. Colthards now features the Strong Spa line, an American-made brand with a unique outer cover that gives the spa the ability to withstand wear, pressure, or damage and protects against cracking, fading, rotting, rusting, or tearing. Strong Spas is so confident in the durability of their spas that they offer a lifetime warranty. Of course, the perfect complement to that spa is your own sauna. Colthards carries Therasauna, an American-made brand with soothing infrared heat. There's nothing like a sauna for improving skin tone, reducing cellulite, and just plain relaxing. Colthards, 32 years in business on the River Road in Mexico, Maine. Call 364-P-O-O-L and visit the showroom soon.
washing machines are offering more and more features each year. Well, you may not find anything quite like this yet at Larson's Electric Service in Mexico, but you'll find the latest in everything from washing machines to refrigerators to stoves. With the Mana, Whirlpool, KitchenAid, and Maytag brands, Larson's offers free delivery and setup of your new appliance plus removal of your old appliance. Over 50 years experience, Larson's 13 Main Street, Mexico, Maine. Let's look at a couple of businesses from Turner, Maine. For nearly seven decades, the residents of Western Maine have turned to Goodwin Well and Water, Maine's leader in water well drilling, pump installation, water treatment systems, and geothermal. When you choose Goodwin Well and Water, you choose a powerful combination of engineering minds, excellent workmanship, and exceptional customer service. Remember last year, don't get caught dry again. Call Goodwin Well and Water for a free consultation today. You don't have to wait until the end of camping season to get your best price. Hi, I'm Scott from Scotch Recreation. We're starting our end of season sale now. This is our biggest selection ever. Fifth wheels with savings up to $30,000. Big selection of toy haulers starting at only $19,999. 2018 SUV towable triple expandables starting at $19,699. Motorhomes, truck campers and more. Financing available. Trades welcome. Scott's Recreation, Turner and Manchester, Maine. Terry and Maxine's Restaurant is now open on Route 4 in Turner, just north of Lake Auburn in the former Chickadee Restaurant building. Quickly getting a reputation for good home-style cooking and snappy service, Terry and Maxine's is a family breakfast and lunch restaurant with fresh, local ingredients. Check out our Facebook page for our menu and hours. Catering available, open Tuesday through Sunday. And coming soon, Terry and Maxine's will be serving dinner on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Hi, I'm Lisa Shardlow from Lisa's Barbershop in Mexico, Maine. You're watching Today River Valley, the video news feature program for the towns of the Androscoggin Valley in Western Maine. In Central and Western Maine, if you don't have a car, it isn't easy to get around. But now, it might become just a little easier. A public-private partnership has launched a new intercity bus line connecting Auburn to Portland and points south. It is a limited service with only six trips a day, but it will be an important test of whether there's any possibility of more public transportation. If it attracts riders, it could show whether people in western Maine will always have to depend on their cars, or whether, in fact, a larger and more regular public transportation system may someday develop here. The new service is run by Concord Coach Lines, and the buses leave from two new bus stations in Auburn, paid for by federal, state, and local tax dollars. Jonathan Labonte is the mayor of Auburn and was instrumental in getting the new bus service going. The background for why uh, transportation centers here in Great Falls Plaza and now the, the Concord Intercity bus service down to Portland and Boston was actually part of a, a 2000 master plan for downtown Auburn. Uh, that looked at creating more economic activity in the heart of our downtown and riverfront by building connections between places, in particular between our downtown and downtowns of neighboring cities. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we sort of drifted away from that vision. So when I was elected mayor in 2011, I was committed to making sure Auburn was on the map by getting connected to other New England cities, in particular Portland and Boston. Lewiston and Auburn already have local bus service, but to leave town entirely, the only public transportation has been two trips a day offered by Greyhound bus lines out of the Lewiston bus station. The increased frequency with the six new trips offered by Concord Coach every day may make it easier for more people to start using buses instead of cars. I really believe that part of the 21st century growth strategy is you're going to see growth around where there's transit options, where people can make get connected from place to place. and. Concord is going to be an example of that. Well, Concord Coach Lines, we're trying to provide uh, service from the Lewis and Auburn area through to uh, Portland, Boston South Station, Logan Airport. Dana Knapp is the Portland-based regional manager for Concord Coach Lines. Uh, second largest urban area in the state of Maine, and I believe it's been underserviced for quite a few years. We see it as a very, very good market for us. Not everyone is completely supportive of the new service. There has been a strong effort underway in Lewiston and Auburn to bring passenger railroad service back to the area, not only to Lewiston and Auburn, but western main towns further north, such as Norway and Bethel. Some have concerns that the new bus line might render rail service unnecessary by siphoning off passengers even before any rail service is established. 
Mayor Labonte disagrees. There's been a lot of talk about having passenger rail uh, and passenger rail uh, bringing it back to Lewiston, Auburn. I usually give the Portland example. So Portland to Boston, the Downeaster, certainly folks see that as a success story, but Concord actually carries 600,000 people a year on the bus from Portland to Boston, and then the train only carries 250,000 people. So even to have that successful rail service, it took being partnered with a successful bus service. There's times the rail doesn't run, that the bus is there to help serve people. So if we were going to think long term about economic development, rather than just waiting and hoping the train would show up one day, let's start getting people making that move. More of a concern with the new Concord bus routes is not that they'll take up too many passengers, but that they might not attract enough passengers at all and wind up demonstrating that increased intercity public transportation, whether by bus or rail, just isn't possible in western and central Maine. Buses leaving Auburn during the first two months that the service was offered were often empty. However, Concord officials are confident that that will change. Every month we've been there, we're operating about two months now. Uh, in the two months, each month, the ridership has gone up. So it's baby steps. We believe it's going to grow and be very successful. I think we're here for the long term. Jeremy Wadley is the manager of the Augusta and Auburn Concord Coach facilities. It seems to be operating and looking exactly like Augusta did when Augusta opened nine years ago. Um, kind of a smaller facility um, in a smaller location. You know, the demographics in Augusta are somewhere around 20,000 uh, in Augusta. Here, they're closer to 60, I believe, between the, the twin cities here, Lewiston and Auburn. And uh, so I anticipate that, that you know, Passenger counts will grow to a point where we're very satisfied with business here. I know you, you, you made the mention about uh, the buses not being full or only seeing you know one person per bus. Uh, you know, all, Americans in particular don't tend to look at a, a new interstate exit and the trickle of cars usually that are there the first uh, six months to a year. They see that new infrastructure as sort of a growth strategy. Concord is counting on two kinds of passengers. One, people heading to Logan Airport who would rather park their cars for free in Auburn and not have to bother driving to Boston. The other is students and faculty from Bates College, the first stop on the Auburn route. In Lewiston, Auburn, I think um, we're most likely to see that the, the Logan passenger, people going on trips who don't want to have to leave their car or pay for parking down in Boston, um, those will probably be the the biggest uh, group of people. Um, Bates certainly will, on certain occasions, especially Fridays and Sundays, um, will make up the majority. What you find on these buses, it's a very smooth ride, um, very comfortable, uh, the seats are well padded, the bus is clean, um, you know, if you continue on south, there again, there are movies available, um, Wi-Fi available, so there's plenty to, to do to occupy your mind uh, rather than just staring out the window and watching trees pass by. What a great thing to be able to just kick back and relax and not have to worry about the traffic and people making lane changes and that sort of thing. Just leave that to the driver. Well, you know, this is part of the, I think, the city's role in working with the local business community to promote what Concord's offering. Um, Concord's not getting any public support for this. Uh, Concord's doing this all as a purely for-profit venture. They paid for their buses, uh, they paid for their drivers. Uh, they're leasing the facility from DOT to exit 75 and we own this facility and are maintaining it. Um, so my hope is over time that the service will grow once it's predictable. I mean, one of the challenges if, if you're trying to recruit people to an event in downtown Auburn at the Hilton and you say, oh, how do you get there? You know, it takes, it takes a good six months to a year or more lead time being able to sell that connectivity. Um, so we're, we're hoping Concord's committed and I think we've got a role to play making sure the local business community and local residents know it's available. Jolly Draymond Pub and the Briarley Inn, a gracious inn in Bethel, Maine, with an authentic British pub featuring classic pub fare. This is Helena at the Jolly Draymond Briarley Inn. Stop by, come to see us, looking forward to your visit. After dinner, indulge yourself with a stay in one of the comfortable rooms upstairs in the Briarley Inn, featuring cuddly blankets, down feather pillows, soft linens, fluffy towels, and casual rustic decor. The Jolly Draymond, the authentic British pub in Bethel, Maine, located in the Briarley Inn. 
October is here, but there are still a few weeks left for camping, kayaking, sluicing for precious stones, and walking the Burma Bridge at Bethel Outdoor Adventure on Route 2 in Bethel, Maine. Camp in the crisp autumn air in the renowned Riverside Campground, canoe or kayak and see the early foliage from a panoramic vantage in the middle of the Androscoggin River, or take a fun walk over the river on the Burma Bridge. Bethel Outdoor Adventure will be open for another few weeks before closing for the winter, so now's the time to grab your outdoor adventure at Bethel Outdoor Adventure. So we would be delighted to have you come and see what we have to offer. You're traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of beer and soda. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of sheer refreshment. That's the signpost up ahead. Your next stop, the The Chill 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 zone. Zone. Hi, I'm Rick from uh, Mountain Valley Variety in Rumford. I want to welcome you to my brand new beer cave. We have over 500 items in all. Whatever you want, we either have or we can get. Head to Mountain Valley Variety for grab-and-go pizza, sandwiches, lobster rolls, hot foods. Don't forget the hand-cut steaks if you're grilling out tonight. Come on down to Mountain Valley Variety and and see us all. The place is called Northern Lights Hearth and Sports, and it's right on the main road at 639 Wilton Road, that's Route 2, in Farmington. Let's take a look at the hearth part of Northern Lights Hearth and Sports. It's wood stoves, pellet stoves, and gas fireplaces, including Harmon, Hearthstone, Yodel, Regency, Vermont Castings, and Dutch West Brands. Then, for barbecue weather, the highest quality barbecue grills, Landman Professional, constructed of all stainless steel to last through many years of use. Northern Lights, open Monday through Saturday. Yes, there is a health food store in Rumford, Maine. Good Karma Cafe and Health Food. Hi, we're Glenn and Sandy Gordon, owners of Good Karma Cafe and Health Foods in 72 Congress Street in Rumford, Maine. Check us out on Facebook. Facebook, goodkarmahealthfoods.com. Hashtag eat well, live well. Hashtag be kind, do good, eat spinach. You should see the reviews on Facebook. Excellent food and superb service. Taste the freshness. Hi, Glenn here at Good Karma Cafe and Health Foods. We're celebrating our first year of business. We want to thank everybody so much for coming in and helping us to grow. We are your one-stop shop for health foods, healthy takeout, and good coffee. Good Karma Cafe and Health Foods, open Monday through Saturday. Before winter comes, you'd better come to Puya Lumber for the supplies you'll need to keep the warmth in and the cold out, from insulation to wood pellets to energy-efficient windows and doors. The pellets are Maine Woods brand. That's their name, and that's their description, because they're made right here in Maine. If your windows need updating, check out our Atrium line of premium vinyl windows, designed for energy efficiency and lasting beauty. Free local deliveries on orders over $50. Puya Lumber, 369 River Road, Route 2, Mexico, Maine. At Dan's Automotive, you'll find reliable used cars priced from $3,000 up. You'll get more car for less money. Here's a great example of what you'll find at Dan's Automotive. Warning, this will probably be sold by the time you see this ad, but if you get lucky, you may still have a chance at this 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo with four-wheel drive, cruise control, and an automatic V6. This is a California car, and it's loaded. Books for $9,000 on sale here at Dan's for only $7,995. We bought our car at Dan's, and we're glad we did. Dan's Automotive Repair and Sales, Crescent Avenue, Rumford. It's Connie's Place for generous portions of great home-style cooking at reasonable prices, right on Congress Street on the island in downtown Rumford. Connie's Place has been open for over a year now, and it's been a learning curve for sure. But we've learned how to offer the items you really like, like our famous Reuben sandwich or our made-from-scratch home fries daily. And we've learned how to get these items to your table with fast and friendly service. Come back and learn again how Connie's Place is the place where families meet to eat. Today River Valley is sponsored by the Sudbury Inn, lodging, fine dining, and a lively pub right on Main Street in Bethel, Maine. That's it for the October 2017 edition of Today River Valley. Remember, you can watch Today River Valley at any time at todayriverValley.com. Next month, we'll be celebrating the fifth anniversary of Today River Valley. The first program appeared in November 2012. 
You can find some of the back editions on the website. Be sure to watch next month as we begin our next five years of telling the stories of the Androscoggin River Valley and Western Maine.